Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about some low waist swaps that you can do in the bathroom. These are gonna be catering a lot towards beauty in particular. If you know me or you watch my other channel, Greyard Vomit, you know that I do a lot of makeup, I wear nail polish, I dabble a lot in the beauty world. So I've come up with some ways to keep my single use product consumption way down. Um, practically zero. I'm just gonna share them with you today. Also throughout this video you're gonna see a very common theme of me using cloths for things. So first I have this. This is what I use to remove my nail polish. So it's just a really old washcloth and I will like dip the nail polish remover in it and I use it to remove my nails and then ever so often I wash it and majority of the nail polish stains will come out like these are all like fresh if you know what I mean like they're still crunchy the yeah the majority will come out and even if they don't it still works just fine this way you're not buying the single-use cotton pads in the plastic containers next I have just a regular washcloth that's nice and clean and this can be used to remove makeup and what I generally do is I take some coconut oil this is right here in this jar I rub it all over my face, I wipe my face off with this washcloth, and then I wash and cleanse my face like normal. Um, if you don't want to use a washcloth, makeup erasers also work really well, and apparently you can get away with not even using any makeup remover underneath. I mean, there's a couple different brands of makeup erasers now as well. I also make my own brush cleaner out of Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. This is just the almond one and coconut oil. Um, this gets your brushes really, really clean, and then the coconut oil kind of moisturizes and rehydrates them because you don't want them to be just super dried out. And the last thing is this. This was um, a little towel, like a tea towel or a dish towel. Basically, just cut in a little square shape. You can serge the edges if you want, which I plan on doing later. But this is the perfect little like toner pad, so you can put toner, astringent, whatever you use on this pad and then wipe your face with it. And because it was cut out of a larger towel, you can have like 20 of these, use them throughout a week or two, and then just wash them all, and then they're ready to go again. So it's kept cleaner and more sanitary than if you were using like the same washcloth every time, which you can do that too if you want. Yeah, super easy, and a towel like this one, this is just like like a mainstays, like a Walmart, $1 kind of a towel, so if you spend $1 on a thing of cleansing, like, cotton pads that you could use for a couple weeks, or you could spend $1 on this and use it for years. So, in the end, you're saving money, as well as using less single-use items, which is always great. And the last thing I wanted to talk about is cotton swab. There are the kind that come, sometimes they're made out of like bamboos, like full cotton, like on both ends, like completely biodegradable and that's awesome. That's what I use, but I did hear about, there's this silicone one that I am very interested in. I would like to get after my current amount of Q-tips are gone, but basically like the end is silicone and you can use it to like clean up your makeup or clean the outside of your ear apparently this was clean inside of your ear. You can do anything that you can normally do with a q-tip and then you just wash it and use it again so that is probably something cool to look into if you're interested in that. Yeah that's all I have to show. I hope you guys try these things out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.